lot of schools were in the area. We started uh, in, uh, in kindergarten, which was an elementary school, just a couple of blocks from the street that we grew up on, which was on Uchamon Avenue. And uh, after uh, elementary school, we attended a, like a junior high school. It was called Strathcona Academy, which was up Coates and Catherine Road. And up from there, uh, we continued on to Uchamon High. So those were the three schools that uh, a lot of the uh, Anglophone community in, in Uchimau were attending and uh, there were a lot of Greek, uh, a lot of Greek families in Uchimau at the time so when I attended Uchimau High School which was, uh, I graduated in 1978, I'd say out of a population of about a thousand students uh, probably close to 800 were, were Greek students. We had a lot of Chinese students as well. But uh, all the, uh, a lot of the immigrant families, they went through the Protestant school board instead of the Catholic school board. So Uchamaha High at that time uh, took in a lot of these students as did the elementary schools. In Uchamaha High, we, uh, we had a string of buddies who were presidents of the uh, school body. So it started with, uh, with my, Jane, my friend James, who is today godfather to, um, to my daughter Ali. He was the president uh, I'd say a graduation year, which was 78, and uh, it, like a, a second aunt or was the vice principal of the school, so he, was, he would get away with murder to the point where he had a key to almost every room in the, in the, in the building. So what we did, and of course he got permission from the vice principal, was to set up an office where we used to hang out, which was up on the top third floor or fourth floor, I forget how many floors the school had, which was in the middle of nowhere. Nobody even knew this place existed, so it was like our hangout. And we used to uh, hang out in there. We used to, sometimes we should have been in class, but we were actually hanging out in there. And uh, we used to also, uh, I don't know if I should say this story. <laughs> We used to keep beer and booze just for the part of the, the dances that, that we used to have at school. So even though you weren't allowed to have alcohol, we used to stash it away in, in James's uh, little office up, upstairs. Uh, we were very close to the, uh, to the school uh, maintenance person. Uh, he wasn't necessarily the janitor, but he was the maintenance person who was in charge of all the schools. And I remember he was uh, an Olympic referee in wrestling, and we became very, very close with him. And he knew about all our little secret stashes and all our secret little places, and uh, he he loved it. He he, he was he loved the idea, so he used to get away with a lot of stuff because again, James's uh, distant aunt was uh, vice principal, and we were very close with Mario, who basically ran the school. Uh, another thing that uh, used to happen, we used to have part-time jobs working at uh, a store called Four Brothers, which is a pharmacy today on Van Horn Street. And our buddy's dad owned four brothers, and he was uh, a student with us at Uchimaha High, and uh, he worked with us at the school. So one of our friends who lived just down the street from, uh, from four brothers on Wiseman, he used to grab a carriage and say, oh, I have a takeout order, I have a takeout order. And he would put about four or five cases of two, four beers inside this carriage. And he'd say, oh, I gotta bring it out to the customer, I gotta bring it out to the customer. And of course, he'd run out the store, take that carriage down the street for about a half a block, take the left on Wiseman half a block, drop off those cases of beer at his house, and come back to the store. And uh, those cases of beers ended up in Nutrima High in our president's office. <laughs> so they had little stickers on them because you have to put a sticker on the beer uh, case and uh, and our friend whose dad owned the place would hang out with us of course inside that uh, office and he used to always thank us for buying the beer at four brothers <laughs>